Okay, right now, police are updating us on the fatal pedestrian that was hit at Avenue Road and Elgin Avenue. Here is duty inspector Jeff Bengel. Good afternoon, it's Inspector Jeff Bangle from the Toronto Police Service. I'm reporting to you from the area of Avenue Road, north of Bloor Street, in what is now a fatal collision involving a cyclist. The information that's been received at this time is that a flatbed truck, which is seen over my left shoulder, was, tra was traveling southbound on Avenue Road. They were attempting to enter the construction site on the east side of Avenue, where they were stopped for the purpose of allowing the person in and thereby stopping northbound traffic to facilitate that turn. While they're waiting to make that turn in the curb lane, an individual, are now deceased, was positioned beside them riding an e-bike. When the truck, the truck and the driver initiated their turn into the eastbound construction site, the driver struck that bike, thereby striking the rider of it. Immediately, the vehicle stopped in the location that we see beside us, and emergency medical services were, were called to the scene in order to pre perform life-saving measures against this individual. He was transported from this location to an emergency trauma center in the nearby area, but unfortunately has succumbed to his injuries. The 39-year-old was pronounced at the hospital at that time. The driver remained at the scene as cooperating with the investigation. And as you can see behind me right now, the investigation is still unfolding. We have our traffic services unit here to reconstruct the collision, as well as to collect evidence from the truck itself and the scene to determine what happened and make a determination if charges are warranted in the circumstances. We ask if anybody has information regarding this collision to come forward to the Toronto Police to their traffic services unit to report the collision or anonymously through Crime Stoppers. Obviously, any information that is provided to us can assist us greatly with the investigation and moving this forward. Can you just clarify what happened again? So both the truck and the e-bike with bicycle were traveling southbound on Avenue Road, and then the traffic traveling northbound was stopped to allow the truck to turn eastbound into the condo building. Can you just reiterate the details as you're aware Certainly. of Certainly. So I'll clarify that point. So the, the, the flatbed vehicle, which you see over my left shoulder, was traveling southbound on Avenue Road and was stopped in the curb lane over my right shoulder. While awaiting for the direction to enter this parking lot, eventually traffic was stopped to allow that turn to happen. It appeared that the e-bike was positioned off to the left side of that vehicle, so the driver's side of the vehicle. And at that point, when the truck began their turn, they were essentially cutting in front of that bicycle, thereby striking them. So was the bicycle in his blind spot or the driver's blind spot? That's going to be part of the investigation. We have to make that determination through a mechanical inspection of the vehicle to see what their field of view was at the time, the height of the driver, the height of the rider once he was on his bicycle, and all of those different things that would come into a factor. But it certainly suggests that perhaps the individual did not see them making that turn. But that, again, is part of the investigation that we have to undertake. Was the bike in motion when, like, was it was it stopped when it was hit or was the rider in the process of of going across the street? Again, part of the investigation, I'm not exactly sure what state the, the rider of the bicycle was in, but it, we'll, we'll determine that through the investigation. We do have witnesses that have provided us videos from the area that has been helpful and, and pivotal in moving this forward to determine exactly what, what happened. But again, multiple angles are certainly going to be helpful for us to determine exactly what happened this day. Most construction sites have either a paid duty officer or some sort of signage guy out with a sign to say stop, go, when the trucks are making turns like this. Were any of them present at the time and when controlling the scene or controlling the flow of traffic at the time of the accident? It's on my understanding at this point from the officers that I've spoken with that, that there was a member of the construction company that was out providing the, the stoppage for the northbound traffic. As to their role within the company or what other stoppages were done at that time, I'm not sure, but there was at least one crew member at the scene at the time. Yeah. So there was a flag present. Um, at this point in time, any indication if the, the, the cyclist, I know it's still early in your investigation, but is there any indication from witnesses that um, the cyclist failed to yield to the truck or the flag that was present? There's no evidence in any way at this point to suggest who's at fault or what actions caused what. It is truly in the infancy of its investigation, but those are all great questions that we are trying to get the answers to to help us with our investigation. And do we know if the cyclist, uh, you know, was at work? Was he any type of delivery driver? I don't know. It's uh, it, it's too, too early to determine exactly what their occupation or involvement was at the time. Yep. Yep. Thank you, everyone. Timeline for oh, I'm sorry. I apologize for that. Yeah, so people that are in the area are traveling. Obviously, we're approaching rush hour traffic. We can expect the closure for some time while we do collect evidence of the scene. We're anticipating that to occur within a very short order of time, perhaps in the next hour or so. It would be the delay that we'd ask people to be patient with while we collect our evidence, which is critical for this investigation. Thank you, everyone.
Okay, so we were just getting an update from Inspector Jeff Bangled with the Toronto Police Services about the incident that happened right around 1.30 this afternoon at Avenue Road and Elgin Avenue, which does remain closed. A 39-year-old man who was on an e-bike was hit and killed. This is when a flatbed truck was turning into a construction site. Who is at fault? That is part of the investigation. But that area, Avenue Road and Elgin Avenue, remains closed for this investigation.